So when I first started making money with photography, I quickly realized that this could be more than just a side hustle and actually become more of a full-time job. I worked at a grocery store for almost eight years and I decided to leave at the end of 2017 to pursue photography full-time because I felt I was generating enough freelance work and I could sustain myself simply on photography. Quickly to realize that first month, I made zero dollars. It was a big slap in the face and a big realization that I have to figure things out or I have to go get another day job to live. So instead of giving up, I said, I'm gonna figure this out and I'm gonna make more money and find a way to make a stable income and grow as a photographer. Many photographers don't realize that you don't have to be a freelancer to be a full-time photographer. You can actually be an in-house photographer for a company in practically any industry. So now let's get into this video and talk about how I make a stable income as a photographer in real estate. So after I left my full-time job and I struggled as a freelancer for a couple months, I found myself falling into real estate photography. A big thank you to my wife. It's the only reason I'm in real estate because she's in real estate. I feel like real estate is an industry that not many creators know about and there's actually huge potential in that industry. So there's typically two types of jobs that you can get hired for, basically getting paid per assignment or as a salary. So in 2018, I worked for a company that provided real estate photography for local realtors in the area. So this job was based where it was a full-time role, but I was getting paid based on the houses that I shot. So that number varied, which meant that my paycheck fluctuated. I always had a paycheck, but it fluctuated in the sense how much it was every time. Real estate is an industry that kind of booms during the spring and summertime and kind of starts to slow down in the fall and winter. Ultimately, why I ended up leaving that job for a better opportunity, which is getting a salary as a photographer. For all of 2019 until now, I work as an in-house real estate photographer for a company in my area. The great benefits of this is no matter if the industry fluctuates or the workload slows down or goes up, I'm still getting that consistent paycheck, which has been a game changer because now we were able to buy a house and grow savings. There's so many benefits to that. The second great thing about this is that I have set hours, which means I know when I'm gonna be shooting and I know when I'm gonna be off. And the great thing about that is I can do my freelance work outside of those hours. Now you have two revenue streams, your full-time job and your freelance work. And this is just the industry that I fell into, but I know that there's many photographers working for companies getting consistent paychecks in weddings, car photography, newborn photography. There's just no limit to it. You just have to go find them. And my advice to getting hired on by a company is whatever industry you're wanting to work for, have a portfolio to show. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment down your thoughts on what you think of being a full-time photographer, and if you are, and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you guys to be a part of my channel. Oh, and also, let me know below if you'd like to know how to shoot real estate, thinking about making a couple videos on that subject, so let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Time to edit.